Well, it has been a few days and uh, figured I'd pop me up a quick video, let everybody know where I'm at, what's going on, and what's, uh, what's happening next. So I'm at home, still on my home time, so to speak. Uh, I'm actually in my hometown right now, which is Andrew, North Carolina. And uh, just was taking care of a few things and um, got my hair cut, got my hair cut. Only place I get my hair cut is let my cousin cut it. She's works at a salon here been cutting my hair since i was 11 thing which y'all signed up for on this video so i'll shut my fat ass on up about that but if you are an andrew need a haircut go to salon 55 she'll hook you up name's tracy pretty out here though anyway so i took my truck my test yesterday uh, yesterday was April, of, no, damn, I keep saying April, it's a lot of 12th, and, uh, well, I passed, got my CDL, and, uh, you know, I've been, I've been told since this first time I failed, you know, yeah, it's cliche, but everything happens for a reason, and I believe that. The bigger reason is because I was able to get it done in my own time. I went my own route. Essentially, not because Millis asked me to. I told Millis it would make me feel better to be able to kind of get on my own schedule, set my own truck up. So I went outside and did my own deal. Outside of the, because I didn't want to have to keep getting rerouted, you know, uh, every two weeks or whatever. And uh, just hop in the back of the truck here. So that's that's what I was trying to keep from happening. You know, I, I didn't want to keep rerouting myself and having to wait two weeks at a time to take my test. So I did my own thing, and I took my test, took it in a manual, and so that means uh, for all you old timers that don't know this. If you take a test now in a man an automatic you have on your license what's called a manual restriction where it's technically illegal for you to drive a a manual uh, commercial vehicle so i try to get myself set up to where i wouldn't have to deal with that in case down the road i want to become an owner operator buy a truck that's a manual you know i got to retest don't want to go through that shit ever again. <laughs> but uh, I am going to upload a video about my next steps and what's expected of me. I know that uh, I'll be getting a truck really soon with Millis. And uh, I'm beyond my 15,000 miles. Matter of fact, if I'd have passed my test that day that, that my trainer and I went, um, we were going to go pick me a truck up that day. So... You know, we're just going to see now. I got to wait till Monday. The director was out of the out of office. I, it was pretty late Friday when I got everything wrapped up. I was at the DMV for like three hours or something. So, got it done. Everybody's been supporting me. It's been really cool. Uh, like I just can't tell you how cool it is to have people that don't know me really on a personal, like deep level, give a shit about me passing or failing and supporting me. And and it's just been really really cool. And y'all can expect more videos. Y'all can expect more content. And speaking of content, I want y'all to put some comments in the in, in the comment section or shoot me an email at my uh, email address that's in the intro, Biggins Trucking at Gmail. And uh, what y'all would want to see once I get in my own truck. I've been pretty limited, of course, when I was in somebody else's. But what do y'all want to see 
when I'm in my own truck what kind of content. I'm gonna have my own stuff that I'm gonna do anyway, but if there's anything anybody wants to know about, see about, uh, see specifically, just let me know. Until next time, drive on driver. Y'all stay safe out there.